This is my bag. Sad bag is sad. I got it uh, Christmas a couple years ago. Yeah, I know. I can take the towels off and wash them. I'll do that. But it was in the back of the truck, as was the oil drain pan, and the uh, breather hole was not completely sealed on the oil drain pan, and oil splashed all over it. I was pretty sad about that, but I'm not big for bags or spending a lot of money on bags. And then my son kind of ran over it, bent the arm, so yeah, sad bag is sad, but what? Could we have in a box this size from Amazon? Yeah, Papa got a brand new bag. So, might as well do a what's in the bag and transfer stuff to the new bag. Here we go. Suck if I cut it, wouldn't it? Okay. Here we go. Ta da! Same as the old bag, but this one's black, so if I spill oil on it, <laughs> it won't show. Some kind of button or something fell off of it. Oh well. Can't stay perfect forever, can it? So, you know, I'm a tailor-made fanboy. So it's the exact same bag. Uh, my pocketing's a little bit different, but no big deal. What was that, a five-way divider? But it's got legs on it. These actually work, so that's super handy. Yay. Let's go through the bag. We'll start right out with my favorite club in the bag. Scotty Cameron, Newport, what is it? Newport 2.6. Love this club, love this club. With the Golf Pride Tour Sensor grip, the Arcos Caddy sensor on it. Cause you know I rock like that. The most controversial club in the bag is the Genuine Bonafide Square Strike at 45 degrees. <laughs> With the Square Strike grips and the Arcos Caddy sensor. I may have some plans for that. I may have some plans for that. Um, this club is hit and miss for me. So my irons and you know what? Yeah, I'll go ahead and get to this and we'll get back to it. My irons and this wedge, it's Taylor made M2. This is an approach wedge. I don't even know what the loft is. I don't know. This is my 90 yard club. I've hit some really, really good shots with that. But I've hit some really bad shots with that. Next we have, this was just a thrift store find. I needed a couple of wedges. Knight milled stainless ripstop, 56 degree. I don't know what kind of grip it is. Look, sad wedge is sad. This one does not have a sensor on it because honestly, this is my 15th club in the bag. And I only have 14 sensors. I rarely use that, just if I gotta get it up. You know, it's a bunker shot with not a lot of green to work with. So, uh, so back to the M2s. Tater made M2, sand wedge. I have a sand wedge, pitching wedge and then nine through five irons. I won't go through all of them. Uh, what kind of shaft is this? Let's see, does it say? Reacts steel, high launch, regular flex. Tailor-made grips, Arcos Caddy sensor. Ah, 
Did I mention pitching wedge? Yeah. Um, sand wedge, pitching wedge, and nine through five irons. Then I have Adams Golf, three hybrid and four hybrid. What's up? Idea A1205 lightweight, stiff flex, uh, Adams Golf Grip, Arco Sensor. Three and a four. Um, I'm bad about keeping head covers. I did have head covers for the hybrids and Scotty. Uh, at least I still have one for this. It's one of my favorite clubs in the bag, RBZ. Taylor made three wood, mm, 15 degree loft. Taylor made RBZ Matrix Ozic Stiff Flex shaft with a uh, jumbo grips. This is a XL jumbo max grip XL. I did have one on my driver too. Um, it's not like they saved my game or anything. They just kind of felt cool. They looked cool. So I tried them out. Broke my um, driver shaft. And the other one I got did not have it. So I'm still sporting the TaylorMade M3 driver. This thing's beat to hell. So think twice before you let me hit your driver. I might sky it. And look at all the sky scars. <laughs> not to mention all the other scars. Uh, this has a Kuro Cage. 50 gram stiff flex Mitsubishi um, shaft on it. Now, tell me if I'm right or wrong on this, okay? I bought the shaft off of a Facebook marketplace place ad. I got the shaft, got it home, went to put the head on. I went to adjust this. I definitely wanted the adjustments because uh, my ball flight's so high with my driver. This is a nine degree driver. Let me double check, see if it says it on there somewhere. Oh, it was nine and a half degrees. And I wanted to angle it down two degrees. So make, make it a seven and a half degree driver. Now get this, this says LH on it somewhere on the adjuster. And I'm like, what? Okay, so it's left-handed. And I'm like, what? It's not gonna work. But then I got to think about it. Let me know in the comments, if, am I right or am I wrong? That because it's a left-handed club and I'm a right-handed hitter, I lofted it up two degrees to loft it down two degrees for a right-handed driver. Think about it. Am I right or am I wrong? This bag seems a little more roomy than that one, which is great. All right, so that's all the clubs. Let's go with the accoutrement. I have a towel. This one, the one I keep on the top is for stuff like, you know, sweat or whatever like that. The one I keep on the bottom is for balls and clubs and such. And I got this big carabiner that I found in the garage with my ball sack. Look at my ball sack. One of my daughters gave me that for Christmas. In here I have uh, two balls and a bunch of tees. It's super handy for tees. Just reach down in there and grab a tee when I break one. And this carabiner has a uh, a knife on it, uh, a file, uh, little scissors. So that comes in really handy. It's nice to have. This glove is my second oldest glove. No, it's my second newest glove. So if the one I'm wearing gets wet or whatever, I can change into that one, no problem. I have this uh, Callaway brush on a spring thing. I like this, uh, this little strap over here that I like better than this clip that that was on. I didn't trust it. Let's go side pocket here. What is this? An empty bag with a hole through it. Uh, gloves, gloves, uh, mm, gloves, stinks, gloves, stinks. Yeah, yeah. So I have a pair of these Callaway all weather gloves, um, rain gloves, uh, and they're good for cold weather too. So 
like to keep those with me. I'm not gonna put everything back in the bag just for the sake of the video. Foot spray is awesome to spray on your club face. I'm gonna do a center of the club face challenge at some point with some people. See who can get like three or five shots closest to center and most consistent. Another empty bag. Another glove stinks. These, these are the blue glasses that are supposed to help you find golf balls. They're crap. 20 bucks. The quality was so bad you could hardly see out of them. Another glove stinks. Uh, microfiber cloth, which is really good to have if you uh, if you could find it. I don't know why I've got this practice ball with a ripped core. Oh, I was going to do a thing on playing the worst ball in your range bucket. So, eh, try to get rid of that. Sunscreen, because, you know, uh, this is a, uh, yeah, like a yardage book. I actually have a yardage book from Cedar Lake. Super handy to have. Um, or, you, you know, you put your scorecard in here. If you're carrying around when you're walking. I was supposed to walk, like, all, all winter long, but I just didn't have a chance to play much golf, so certainly didn't have much chance to walk and play golf. Another glove stinks. Those are going in the garbage. And I guess this is why I have empty bags in there. Uh, here's a brush and scraper tool with a ball mark thing, another ball mark uh, repair tool, a Cedar Lake golf ball marker, another terrible, terrible ball from a bucket. Oh, I do have a Sharpie in here. Ball marker repair tool, ball markers, another carabiner. Uh, ball marker repair tool, a piece of something. Oh, that's a piece of the blue glasses. That's it for that pocket. Let's go over here to this pocket. I shouldn't have anything here. Wait, I do, I do, I do. Uh, a pack of Cedar Lake teas. I like those teas though. A ball grabber. This is super convenient because it doesn't take up a space in your bag. Somebody sent me this to review it. They didn't, I don't think they really wanted like a video review. I did some video on it, just never did anything with it. They just wanted to know what I thought of it. I told them I like everything about it. It'd be good if it had like a carabiner on it, you know, some sort of clip, clip it to the outside of the bag. And they appreciated my input. This is the Go 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 V Pro laser rangefinder that I just had on my channel. That's a given away. You have to go to that video and comment Go 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 and be subscribed and a US resident. This is the Bushnell that I keep in my bag. What else we got here? Oh, a new glove. Glove doesn't stink. <sighs> Another glove stinks. This one's actually not bad, I think. Yeah, this one, I don't know, they always tear in weird ways. That was torn. What else we got? Oh, this is my backup hat. Oh, shit. I'm not wearing a hat. My hair's, I'm about doing an experiment with the hair. It's not working out. About to shave it off. This is my backup cap from sweating through the cap I'm wearing for that round and I like that cap and then I'll wear this one I mean I like this one too but it is here for that purpose oh I was wondering where these went all right this is a veo strip uh you'll see me in the summertime usually wearing contacts because I really hate getting sweat on my glasses because there's no way to get it clean on the golf course you know it's really tough to have anything with you that remains clean to clean your glasses. So I bought these and what it does, silly, it sounds stupid enough, sticks to your forehead above your glasses and it just acts like a rain gutter. Sweat comes down your forehead, gets caught there and comes off the sides instead of into your glasses. It's made for cyclists, but it works fantastic. Fantastic. That is that for that pocket. Let's go to this pocket here. Uh, this is my working glove and a pro tip I gave last time I did a what's in the bag is I put my ball marker pair tool, my ball marker and a tee, you know, the tee I'm using in my glove when I put it in my bag. 
that way I don't have to dig for it. And the glove just stays right on top. I got balls, I got lighters. All right, how about we do a ball count? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. This, um, I might do a review on this. I might not. Uh, this is a broke ass ball marker pair tool. Let me throw it away. That has been replaced. Let's see. Groove sharpener. Ooh, I got two tokens in here for the um, range. Sorry, Cedar Lake. I'll take them back and I'll do it. Oh, a penny, a lighter, ball marker pair tool, two of them, and a couple of pencils. Let's play through ball marker from lesplaythrough.com and the Let's Play Through Golf channel. Hey, Gabe. I can get that, Gabe. That's all that's in that pocket. All right, now we're going to get into some serious ballage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. The Polara Ultimate Straights. There's three in here. I don't use these. I don't use these, but there's a time and a place. And go watch my review if you want to uh, see that. So, wherever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 17, 18, 20. One, two, three. Uh... These Callaways, Callaway, super soft. All right, so we're moving, and I sold a piece of furniture to a lady who was telling me about her dad used to play golf, and she gave me this big old bag of these Callaway super softs. Played them the other day. I like them. What count was on? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-nine, forty-two, forty-five, forty-six, forty-nine. 72, On my last what's in the bag, I had a giveaway where you needed to guess the number of balls I had in my bag. I think it was 63. I really thought I had fewer balls in this bag than I did then. So a few more things in this bottom pocket here. See if I can dig them out. A good old club tool. You gotta have one of those. Some uh, short tees. And this is a golf tee grip. I was asked to check it out. And what it is, it goes on your hand like that. And you know, it either enhances your grip or you can play without a club. I mean, without a glove. Uh, I tried it. Um, actually, I didn't really care for the feel without a glove, but with a glove, it was fine. And I never really understood what it's for. What's the purpose? Uh, it didn't help my swing. It didn't hinder my swing. So um, I didn't put out a review on it. I kind of had like no opinion on it. So I just figured I'd be better off not putting out a review on that. But dude sent me one and I use it. So anyway, yeah, that's what's in the bag. Um, hey, new bag. That's what I got going on. So, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. If you haven't already, what's wrong with you? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because if you have already and you're subscribed and you hit the subscribe button, it will unsubscribe you. Nobody wants that. So, be sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are posted. Follow Greg Cortman Golf on Instagram. Here. And follow Greg Cortman Golf on the Twitter. Okay? Thanks.